All right, it's time for uh, part two of the Rivian event. Um, so in this one, we, we sort of cycle around. We keep going back and forth between um, stuff that we've seen. And, but we're going to look at the front kick a little bit again. Uh, we're going to look at that portable Bluetooth speaker. Uh, we're going to look at the charging and how that thing opens up. And it is a bit all over the place, I will admit that. Um, and there's lots more to come. But by the end of this series, you'll have a pretty thorough overview of what this puppy looks like. So let's dive back in. So I was particularly interested in the bed of this uh, bad boy because I'm looking at it as a thing to sort of replace the wire for driving around my e-foils. So an e-foil is like a surfboard. They're, you know, four to six feet long and they've got a big wing on them. And, uh, you know, putting them in the, the sedan is a bit of an issue. So this is just a four-foot bed. So it wouldn't fit all the way in there, but it would be close and you could also use, uh, you know, these crossbar things to put them in there. But it would certainly make life a lot easier throwing all the crappy wetsuits and the boards in the back of a vehicle rather than in the wire. And now we're going to go up the front and check out the frunk. This looks like a good handle. Shy? You can do some isometric it's all locked exercises down. that way. This one's locked down. So Once we, we went to, to that mode thing, it locked in. Oh, sorry, bud. Do you want one? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm real curious. Like, so, like for me, a lot of it is like, how low is this thing? Like, if I'm like going off road and I'm going down into a rut or something like that, this is pretty low. My my bumper's probably like that much higher, but it's hard to tell because its ride height is, is at like standard ride height now. So maybe as it gets higher, it's better. But like- Looks like it's done a bit of scraping. It's got some nice little toe points right there. That's pretty cool. It's definitely been out. I like, it's, it's nicely armored. This is plastic all the way through. I'd much rather have this metal, but it's protected. And like the lovely thing about the whole bottom piece is that it's like, there's nothing to get hooked up on. Like yeah. it's just- It's very smooth. It's just the whole sled. Yeah. Perfect, I thank you. I there'd be an opening here. Okay, so it's like a little rubber pad, kind of similar to what you would find in the test. What's right here, Robert? And next to it is the camera. And there's a camera right yeah, here. Yeah, I mean, I use the app basically to like open the front. Typically, that's like usually how I open it, but it's nice that you can do this. It's not that big. It's pretty big, dude. Look at this. This is like, this is like a 35 liter bag. Here, this look, is probably more. another 20. This is a 20. It gets deeper. There's the charge cable. Oh, so there it goes. It comes with the, what is this? A NEMA 1040. 1040. And then it comes with your standard. your standard plug as well. Right. Theoretically, you can use this as a cooler, although I don't think this is set up for that. Maybe that's the drain port. Oh, yeah. So there's your maybe. I don't know. So on don't the, break any more on uh, the trunks. <laughs> so interestingly, those pieces that I broke are gone. They're gone. Look at that. So they used to be, they were like all around in here, there was like grocery hooks. And that's what I broke, but they've added this. This wasn't on the pre-production, so there's an outlet in here, which is kind of cool. Also, there's the emergency button in case a little kid gets stuck in, in the trunk. Or they wake up from their head. Or they wake up for their... I like the filler cap. So this is the... This is the flute. No, it's, a, it's an electric car. But it's a different situation. This is for uh, wiper fluid. It's nice that it's located right, like right at the edge, it so you can like get a, it. It's a little off center, so you yeah. can see the, the the actual filler tube is a little off center. It's got a filter in it, which is kind of cool. So in case you have like some old fluid that you've had sitting around for a while, or you're mixing your own, yeah, you won't get any fluid in your or thing. That's actually a big deal. Dust is blowing yeah. while you're having to refill it. Mm -hmm. This is a little aftermarket, or a little, kind what do they call that? What do they call that? Uh, Shitty? It's alpha. It's <laughs> not production. It's alpha. I would say that could be nicer, but it's okay. I'm sure that's not production. I like the thing. So it's let's nice try it. Let's see if it closes. Does it close on its own? No. 
But it's nice how they enclose the wiper, wiper fluid tube. Yeah. I mean, a lot of thought. I mean, like, in terms of, like, fit and finish, it's, like, very clean. Like, the, the seams are nice. Very nice. I like, I love, I, I like this. You got your nice sensors or thing. There's, like, a little front flap, which is kind of cool. And uh, I don't know, these are big, these are big wheels. These are 20s. Want to close it or leave it open? Okay. Get Will it go down automatically? Special? Yeah, it didn't work. Oh, there it goes. See the lights flash. Well, that's, that's pretty cool. slick. Yeah, nice. Is this as low as it sits? Nope. No, it's, it's not as high as it sits either, though, right? Correct. Yeah, it's sitting at, I believe, like 10 and a half inches. Okay. Ground clearance. Uh -huh. And it can go down to nine and a half. And as high as 15? Up to 15. And have you guys run into, I mean, I see there's a little bit of scraping. Like, have you run into major, like, angle of entrance issues at all or anything? No, no it's, nothing? you've got, like, industry-leading approach angles or uh -huh. departure angles. On the but not industry-leading from production stock. standpoint, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. not from an aftermarket Correct, yeah. yeah. But as far as, like, stock vehicles go. Right. Um, and they've been added into your configuration. Okay. Um, but I don't think oh, we've he's got, taking it up. I don't think we've got like a uh, you know recommended like as opposed to yeah. yeah. So like this feature right here, Mel, is great. So it's like the subfloor or for the front thing. You fold it back, and they actually built it to magnetize. Oh. Nice. So you don't have to like a lot of times like on the Tesla, I'll, like we'll take them out and I'll store you know if I want that yeah. extra area because they're kind of unwieldy. They yeah. don't really go anywhere. This is really that's a great that's a great feature. Yeah. So, so is this drain? No, this yeah, one doesn't yeah. drain, but but what he was saying was the tire compartment. Uh -huh. If you don't have a tire in there, there's a drain plug for that. Okay. So you can use that. And then you're on board charging. This, uh, it's, it's, this looks pretty familiar. Yep. And it's J1772. Correct. But, it, but the truck. Yep. So uh, a finger on the, the three lines here. Very fancy. So you've got the J1772 up top, and then it folds down for CCS. And then your, so that little light bar around the port will glow green while it's charging, uh -huh. and then the light bar will pulse green as it's charging. This one, the, the whole time? This front the, section the main light bar. between the two okay. titanium lights. Um, but you can monitor your status of your charge from your phone as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I might just play with that all day. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a newer? I don't remember. They didn't show us the charge port, I think, on launch day. Has that been the way that it's been the whole time? Uh, I can't speak to that. I don't know. I joined Rivian in September. OK. So, um, Are you currently driving one? I mean, my guess I'm is just it's thinking just thinking if you're brushing up against stuff, like rear branches oh i see oh, that's an interesting thought like you're on the trail but my guess is when it's in drive mode it probably won't open so i can say that when if it's open and you put it in drive it automatically will close yeah. okay yeah. and my guess is if it's in drive mode it won't automatically open itself either that would make sense to it me. would yeah. yeah so rivion leaf Back to oh, it is okay. <laughs> it's working. Yes. That's so good. if you want to. So now it's working. Oh, look at that. That's very cool. And then if you tap that lightning bolt on the right side, it should populate charging around you. So if you zoom in somewhere. And are these so? Which which of these are Rivian charger system, and which like does it? In, is there an indicator that's like this is a Rivian um, versus an Electrify America? Yes like? and no. Okay. So as okay. you know, there's uh, those are Electrify. Yeah, it'll it'll tell you info on the on the. If they do that here, that'd be okay. We'd be all right. We'd be all right with that. I like that it show like you can decide like all of the networks. I wish Tesla had that. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, so like, if that you select all of those, I think it'll pull up <laughs> Electrify America as well. Well, the first one that I pushed on was Wait, an Electrify America. One. Yes. 
What are you trying to do? I was trying to look at one the, finger at a time. I wanted to look at the uh, Rivian network and see if it, it existed. So it turns out on talking to them, there is no deployed Rivian charges that anybody there was aware of. Um, but there is stories on Reddit and other places that they're actually starting to build them and deploying them a lot actually near Tesla charges if Reddit is true, but they haven't turned them on yet. Um, so the charging network for Rivian today is Electrify America and other things. And I know this video is all over the place like a dog's breakfast, but uh, there's a lot more coming in the days ahead um, about this uh, really cool truck. Rub it out.